Now it's time to determine the deployment level for your Fleet Spartan Shield. Here in the Drivers tab, you will see the Job Rule and the Unit Rule. You will also see these same rules in the Units tab, here, and in the Jobs tab, here. For now, let's change both of these at the same time in the Drivers tab. First, we need to update our Job Rule. Here, we've automatically set you to the highest security level for your Fleet Spartan Shield. You can change these at any time. The first option is Job ID Required and only Valid ID Accepted. This means that using our Spartan Shield app, the drivers will be required to enter a valid job ID that you've added to the admin portal. If a valid job ID is not entered, the transaction will be declined. The next option is Job ID Required and a valid and invalid ID accepted. This means you require your driver to enter a job ID, but it doesn't have to be a valid job ID. The next option is job ID optional. This means that your driver can either add a job ID or not add a job ID. Either way, valid and invalid IDs are accepted. And the final option is job ID optional, but if the job ID is entered, it has to be a valid job ID. Select the option that you would like and it automatically saves it to the system. Your unit rule works the exact same way.